Hello and welcome back to the Kitchen Club, friends. Today I'm going to share with you my midday routine. That is uh, my power hours from a uh, morning 9:30 to afternoon 2 o'clock. I call this my power hour because this is the time where I finish up all my home chores and I also try to squeeze out time to do my work. That is my YouTube work. So friends, it is 9.30 in the morning now. I have just dropped my kids in school and I'm back home now. All my morning cooking is done. Uh, I had uh, finished uh, cooking the breakfast, packed up lunchbox for my kids and uh, that's all done. So as you can see, the house is totally messy at the moment. You can see how the kitchen looks like. But before I jump start the cleaning activities, I'm really hungry at the moment. So I want to jump straight into my breakfast and uh, I just cannot do without my coffee so it's time for having my breakfast and coffee I'm having idlis and hot and spicy uh, tomato chutney today and uh, I thought uh, till the time I finish my breakfast I'll leave my coffee for brewing so I got this set as a gift few months back I'm having French press coffee today so uh, this is the French press uh, coffee maker so I'm using it for the very first time usually I have uh, only instant coffees and I'm a great instant coffee lover so uh, let's try it out together today so uh, this is a contest winner the Go compact gold bean coffee contest gold medal winner so I'm trusting that it should be good what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one scoop full of this uh, ground coffee beans uh, in the coffee maker and then totally cover it with some boiling hot water and let it sit for around uh, two three minutes uh, till the time I finish my breakfast and uh, then I'm going to uh, gently press uh, using this filter which comes along uh, in this coffee maker and then slowly filter out the brewed coffee. I totally totally love the way it turned out, the fragrance, the taste and the aroma, it was fantastic. It reminded me of the Indian filter coffee. So I, I sat down with my hot cup of coffee for uh, next uh, 20 to 30 minutes and just relaxed before I jump started my work. I usually like to get rid of all the home chores first. It takes me around an hour to completely clean up the house, the kitchen, the living room, the bedroom, the kids play area and all the spaces uh, around the house. So once I'm uh, free and I'm done with uh, finishing off the home chores, uh, I feel more relaxed and uh, more uh, focused in my work so um, that's what I do first so it's all done now the kitchen looks clean I also changed the table runner and uh, the bed sheets and then the floor cleaning is also done i missed capturing that so the carpet and the floors are all clean so now i can be relaxed and uh, do my work peacefully so the time is around 11 30 now i have uh, complete three hours uh, left to myself to finish off my work i'm starting with editing uh, the video that needs to be uploaded today and uh, i was uh, editing the three sambar varieties i think that day and please check out the video if you haven't already click on the eye appearing in the screen right now so typically if i'm shooting a video today i will edit it the following two days uh, and do the voiceover in both English and Tamil for both my channels and the fourth day my video will be up for uploading so that's my way of working and coming up with the YouTube videos and I also use some time in the night uh, after the kids are asleep so I use around 40 minutes to one hour in the night for strategizing for my coming up videos and coming up with the script for my uh, future videos and things like that. So uh, it was around one o'clock and I was feeling hungry already. So I thought I'll just head into the kitchen. I'm making dal khichdi today that is rice and lentils uh, porridge and uh, I added half cup rice and half cup of dal or the moong dal lentil here and uh, soaked it in water, washed it well first and then soaked it in water. And while it is soaking, I'm uh, preparing my uh, masala in the pressure cooker. I have uh, added a teaspoonful of ghee in the pressure cooker and then uh, had added some uh, cumin seeds, chopped onions, uh, uh, garlic, cloves and uh, potatoes, carrots and coriander leaf. 
I missed recording the whole thing, really sorry about that and now I'm adding some turmeric powder to it, mixing it all well, just roasting it for another minute before I add my uh, soaked rice and dal. For one cup of uh, rice and dal, I'm uh, going to add two cups of water and then adding some salt, mixing it all together well and then uh, letting it cook for uh, two whistles, first whistle on high flame and the second one on medium flame. So while this is cooking, I thought I'll just uh, finish preparing my evening puja prasad. I'm making ate ka halwa, uh, which is uh, very, very uh, easy, but at the same time, a little bit of time consuming. So I thought I'll just make a little bit of it as quickly as I can. I've added two cups of water and one cup of sugar to it. I uh, have uh, dissolved it completely before transferring it into another container. Wash this uh, pan thoroughly well so that there is no sugar left in it before adding three tablespoons full of ghee or clarified butter and then I'm going to add atta or whole wheat flour here one cup full of it and start roasting it now this is the longest procedure in the whole recipe this needs to be done for around seven to eight minutes before the whole wheat atta or the whole wheat flour gets completely roasted and turns into a dark brown mixture along with the ghee the aroma is coming out really well now it is all done and i'm going to add this sugary hot water into it and uh, make sure there are no lumps there will not be any lumps actually because we have roasted it so well so uh, just be very careful that it doesn't splutter because it's full of water and within a minute or two the whole water will be soaked up by the flour completely and we will be left with our tasty halwa I added a half teaspoonful of cardamom powder and a tablespoon of ghee again on top of it and uh, uh, the halwa is ready. It was so tasty. I just saved it till the evening uh, for the puja and then served it as the evening snack for my kids along with the dal khichdi which was also ready by now. Uh, the cooker had uh, completely cooled down and uh, there it is my khichdi and I had it for lunch and then again worked for the next hour or so to finish off my editing and also upload the video on YouTube and uh, then I headed uh, to the school to get my kids home. The rest of the afternoon and the evening is all dedicated to my kids where we finish the homework, the other school activities. Uh, we just play together for some time before having the dinner, have some story time in the night and off they go to the bed and I spend some time uh, doing some more theoretical work related to my videos. So that's all for today friends. I hope you liked this video. If you did, do not forget to hit on the like button, subscribe to the Kitchen Club and share your feedback with me in the comment section below. I'll see you next time in my next video. Till then, take care.